It has been approximately two and a half months since I filmed my last classroom favorites video, which means I have made a lot of purchases that I'm ready to share with you all. Also, you may be able to tell by my voice or my sniffling that I'm a little bit under the weather. I have been sick for about the past five days and I kept postponing my filming, hoping I would feel better, but eventually I just had to say to myself, Michelle, the people need to know about your purchases. They don't have forever. So with my lovely sick voice, I'm gonna share with you all 10 of my current classroom favorites, all of which can be found on Amazon, I might add. I will throw this disclaimer out there just so there is no confusion whatsoever. This video is not sponsored in any way. I have purchased all of these items with my own moolah. Hey, that's money. And I am sharing them with you because they genuinely make my heart happy. Also because I love watching other people's favorites videos so I can find things that I didn't know existed and go spend my money on them. The first item I'm gonna share with you all is the one I am most excited for and also the one I think is most important. Let's talk about bandages for a second. Aside from the decorative ones that have beautiful little cartoon characters and designs and things on them, a majority of bandages are tan, which is fine and dandy if you're, you know, white because it closely matches your skin tone. But spoiler alert, we're not all the same color. So when I saw these bandages, I got super excited because even though it seems like such a simple thing, it is so important for your students to feel represented. And nothing makes a student feel underrepresented than being handed a bandage that does not match their skin tone. These are by the brand True Color, okay, color with a U, and they come in a variety of different skin tones. These bags come with 10 medium bandages and 10 large bandages. They stick really well and they're also latex free, which is fantastic because there are a lot of students that have latex allergies. Now I picked mine up from my local Target, but you can find them on Amazon, which of course I will link for you in the description box. My next item is an electric whistle. Oh yeah, you heard that correctly, an electric whistle. This puppy right here is a game changer. If you are a teacher and you are outside for recess duty, you have to have a whistle, trust me. Now I had one of those standard metal whistles, you know, the kind you would see like a little league soccer coach using for about five years until just recently it fell off my lanyard and I lost it. When I was looking on Amazon for a new whistle, I came across this electric whistle and I was like, what? This is 2019 people, okay? The future is now. Here is why this whistle is so much better than a regular whistle. First of all, it is much louder than a regular whistle, which if you are outside with your students, you will appreciate. All you have to do to make the whistle sound is press this button right here. I'm not gonna do it right now because I got to school super early to film and I will probably give my custodian a heart attack, but take my word for it. Second, it is far more sanitary because there are no mouths involved. Regular whistles are gross, okay? Let's just throw that out there. You blow into it with all of your germs and they get stuck on the inside and they just, they just grow in there. And as teachers, we don't need to be surrounded by any more germs, okay? Regular whistles can't be shared or rather shouldn't be shared, but this little beauty right here, you can just pass this to anyone you want and all they have to do to make the whistle sound is just press the button and that definitely comes in handy. It also has a small flashlight on the other end. I know that's not a huge selling point, but you know, it's there. The next item I have is an acrylic straw dispenser, but it's not dispensing straws. It is dispensing the most highly coveted school supply item, especially in the month of May, pencils. Now this is not my original idea, okay? This is one of those things that I have seen all over social media for years now and I've wanted to try it. So I finally went onto Amazon, found myself a straw dispenser, purchased it, filled it with some pencils, and let me just say, one of the best decisions I've made in a very long time. So when a student comes asking me for a pencil, which you know, happens about a thousand times a day. All I have to do is turn the knob on the side and out pops a pencil. Obviously mine is not filled up all the way because again, it's May and I have like zero pencils. But from what I read online, people say that this can hold about 150 pencils. So that should get you through like at least the first hour of the day. It does dispense regular number two size pencils, but I have not tried any other size pencils. So if you've got those like fancy ones that are shaped like triangles or you've got the fat ones, probably wouldn't work is my guess. Now I am the only one that touches this because it is all fun and games in fourth grade until a student jams my pencil dispenser. Now one of my summer projects will be coming up with a label for this that says off limits for students, but until then, I just, you know, blow my electric whistle anytime a student gets too close to it. I'm just kidding, I don't actually do that. My next item is something near and dear to my heart, or in this case, 
my feet. These are my school slippers. Oh yeah, you heard that correctly, school slippers. I'm sorry, but if you do not have a pair of slippers at home and have another pair of slippers at school, you're living your life wrong. I have this exact same pair of slippers at home. Billy actually got them for me as a Christmas gift and I love them so much that I bought myself another pair to bring into my classroom. I really like that moccasin style slipper. These are really comfortable, but they're also not too hot and they have this like rubbery kind of sole on the bottom so I can wear them outside if need be. I also love that there is stitching across the bow because I. I've had some pairs of moccasin slippers in the past and the bow would just come untied every two seconds and it drove me crazy. So this one, because it is sewn over, always is tied. The reason I keep a pair of slippers at school is because sometimes you wear a pair of shoes to school that you haven't worn in a while and you forget how uncomfortable they are until you're applying bandages to the blisters on your feet. I love to have these as backup, but comfortable backup. I also like to wear my slippers after school. And by that, I mean 359, I'm wearing regular shoes. 401, I'm wearing my slippers. I did purposely buy the black color because I feel like they can, you know, kind of pass as regular shoes. All right, maybe not, but you know, that's what I tell myself. My next item is a flare pen, but wait, there's more, look. Paper made flare pens are basically like the equivalent of gold within the teacher community, okay? That is no new information. But did you know that you can buy boxes of single color flare pens? Because you can. I love flare pens as much as the next teacher, okay? But let's all be honest for a second. There is a certain level of disappointment when you buy a pack of assorted colors of flare pens. Yellow flare pens, okay? Who uses these? Not me. But if you really like the black flare pens, you can buy a 12 pack on Amazon. You like pink flare pens? They have those too. Blue flare pens? Yup. You deserve to be surrounded by your favorite color pen. So start buying them in single color packs and thank me later. My next item is an umbrella, but hear me out on this one. First of all, you don't realize how desperately you need an umbrella until you are standing in the pouring rain during bus duty. Zero out of 10, don't recommend. So I went searching on Amazon and it turns out umbrellas have come a pretty far away recently. They now make umbrellas that open down instead of up. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there's a button. See, red button, didn't see that. Okay, now I know there's probably gonna be comments saying that it's bad luck, but you know, I just believe you make your own luck in this world. Now this is important because when the umbrella opens down, that means when you close the umbrella, all of the water will go on the inside instead of dribbling all over your floor. Now they do have tons of different prints and colors, but I went with basic black because that's my favorite color. My next item is a donation box. And as much as I would love to use it to get tips for my amazing teaching skills, that's not what I use it for. I like to do ticket incentive systems where my students earn tickets for good behavior and then they enter those tickets into drawings for different prizes. This donation box works perfectly for that because not only do their tickets fit perfectly in the slot, but there also is this plastic sign up here that I can put a paper into to display the current prize students are working towards. There also is a lock so you can keep them nice and secure because that's important. Again, these do come in different colors, but I went with black. My next item is another fidget for my calm down bin and it's called a tangle. Actually, I think mine's a tangle junior, but you get the point. I purchased a three pack of tangles on Amazon and this was inspired after seeing some of my students with these in class and I was intrigued. I really like it because it is quiet. It doesn't make any noise, but you can easily move it around and manipulate it to relieve anxiety. Students can also take them apart and they can remove the pieces, move them around a little bit. I know it's super simple, but I do think it is something that can be very beneficial for students. My next item is actually for math instruction. This is called a base 10 decimal frame. I discovered this after doing some online searching during our decimal unit. Understanding decimal place value can be a really difficult skill for fourth graders to learn, so I really like to use base 10 blocks to model this. This decimal frame helps to hold the base 10 blocks up top, and then there are these squares at the bottom where you can actually put in the decimal values. The frame and the number squares are both foam, which means they are nice and quiet, which is an added bonus. I only have two frames for now, definitely not enough for a whole class, but I would like to get some more in the future, at least to supplement small group instruction during math. My last item is probably the least exciting out of all of them, but that's okay. It is a cell phone stand. I do 
usually leave my phone out on my desk throughout the day and it gets moved around approximately 50 times and then when I actually need it, I can't find it. I love this stand because it gives my phone a designated place to be sitting so I know exactly where to find it. I also film a lot of Instagram stories at school so this is a perfect way to prop up my phone while I am filming them. My phone can sit on it vertically or horizontally. It also has this little slit down here so you can plug in your phone and charge it while it is sitting on the stand. Those are my 10 current classroom favorites. Of course, the links to all of the products I mentioned in this video will be down in the description box for you. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also share it out with your teacher friends. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. The links to all of my social media sites, my Teachers Pay Teacher Store, my Merchandise Store, and my Amazon Store are in the description box, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.